Hello everyone and welcome to the second video for the series of video Node.js Ripple Master Part. This video is about Task Runner. In the previous video we talked about a simple way of running JavaScript code if we have against Node.js which is a simple run command on the terminal that we have. And the second way was let me zoom in to using Node.js Ripple itself 1 plus 1 is 2 and we said that these two approach they are not efficient because for example in this way if we want to see the output of Node.js we have to modify the file save it, create it, run Node.js against the file, see the output then opening the file again, I don't know, modifying it a little bit and saving on the disk and running it again to see the output, a kind of ripple process which is not efficient. And we said there are three other ways to run Node.js or any kind of scripting language that we have against the file that we want to learn, we want to teach ourselves, we want to teach others and we a kind of having screen testing and recording videos. So the first one uh, is a task runner or uh, monitoring the file in the disk if there is a change running a command against a specific file which we are going to use and see how it is going to work today. The command that I am going to use is named ENTR or event notify task runner or test runner. So that sound is really uh, high, sorry for the sound extra noise I have in the neighborhood. And first we are going to apt cache search search for event e event script i uh, event which there are thousands of commands related to the event and I don't know file monitoring. There are a lot. For example, one of them is dir event which is really really good uh, in terms of in a low level monitoring the files but one of them that I, we are going to use is ENTR here the first one uh, running arbitrary commands when file changes so let's look for ENTR show ENTR so the version 3.9 ENTR uh, the description event notify test run ENTR run arbitrary commands when file changes and also uh, let me cut the guide here is the website you can see it below the video on the video description and you can download it because the version is 4.6 the latest version but on the Ubuntu repository the version is 3.9 so after downloading it another terminal. After downloading it you are going to uh, extract the file, go to the file and a really simple GNU instruction first configure it and then make an install. That's it. After this we will have the command ENTR and here is the version, really simple command 4.6 and the, uh, the options that we have for the file that we want to observe or monitor for any kind of change and the usage is really simple ENTR dash C for clearing, uh, clearing the screen clear the screen every time there is a change and uh, having a fresh output not adding accumulating output over each other so clear the screen, run Node.js against 3.js file and when there is a change in 3.js file so clear the screen if there is a change in this file please run Node.js against this file really simple and here is the output and here is a 3.js file if I open it up then 3.js you can see if I change the file and save it under this the output will be the output immediately will be printed on the right side so let's save it and you can see the output so uh, 10 times 10 times will be printed also the uh, screen will be cleared before printing it again printed on the screen again and you can for the sake of having more example making it to for example 30 you can see the output here as long as I save the file the NTR program notices the change and prints the output it is a much efficient way of 
teaching ourselves and you know recording a video teaching others when we want to teach any kind of scripting language that's it thank you for watching in the next video we are going to see the configuration of node.js ripple within the editor emath which is more efficient even than this technique that we learned today so pkl ff